Today guys we have the Raiden, a build for Zane created around shock damage and it's actually super effective people. How's it going guys, my name is VPJ and today I'll be doing another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So Raiden. The electrifying fatality master from Mortal Kombat. Today I bring you the same build based on this legendary character. So this build is based around shock damage and dealing that shock damage, at the same time making it capable of being an actual efficient mayhem 4 build in terms of damage and defense. Now thanks to the scene dead class mod it truly makes builds like this a possibility. It's a class mod which has allowed me to bring you guys some of the best builds for Zane out there. So let's get into it and we'll start with weapons. And keeping it within theme we are using 4 shock weapons here, all different variants. Now in reality this build can still be super effective if you decide you want to add a radiation weapon into the mix, a cryo weapon into the mix, corrosive weapon, it actually doesn't matter. But because this is a Raiden build, for video purposes I'm sticking to the theme here. But if you want to mix it up, that's up to you. One thing I will say about the weapons though, I'd say look out for anointments which offer the sentinel anointment or the barrier anointment. Both do amazing things, so look out for those people. Shield here, I'm obviously using a transformer, plus it's anointed to Zane, and with this build, giving us in turn more damage due to that increased movement speed. The transformer is one of the most popular shields in the game, and it just makes sense to use it within this raid and build. Class mod obviously is a scene dead. Now for this get as many as you can in Donny Brook. I've seen ones with 5 points in them, but I'm yet to land one of those myself. Grenade you want to use the shot grenade obviously, I'm using here the Merv Widowmaker, but this does get switched around with other shot grenades. Artifact is a massive part of this build and it's the electric banjo. This is an amazing artifact and it works perfect with this build. It basically chains electric to those enemies and it works amazingly. So let's move on to the skill tree build, starting with Sentinel. 5 points into both violent speed and violent momentum. Speed equals damage here people, damage equals death. 3 points into cool hand, drone delivery is selected, 5 points into salvation, death follows close selected and then 2 points into good misfortune. On to digiclone, 3 points into synchronicity. 2 points into borrowed time and 4 points into Donny Brook and 2 points into that duct tape mod. It's this perk and a drone delivery perk in which we will see our grenades come into action with this build as we ain't actually using grenades ourselves because we're using two action skills. Okay so moving on to barrier, 5 points into adrenaline, 4 into ready for action, 5 into rise to the occasion and confident, confidence selected. Action skills we use Sentinel and Barrier, on Sentinel we use the augments of Bad Dose and Static Field, shock of those morphos. Action skill 2 we use the Barrier, augments we use All Rounder and Adherence Field. This is epic for this build as enemies you touch with your Barrier take shock damage and are staggered. So in reality it's a major part of this raid and build. Drop the shield, pick it up and run into enemies, stagger them and just cause destruction. So this build is a great balance of both defense and attack. With the help of the Seeing Dead class mod, paired with the Good Misfortune, you will see those kill skills come into play almost 100% of the time, using two action skills also at the same time, paired with speed, mostly with this build triggered by just shots you are landing thanks to that Seeing Dead class mod, this build truly does shock. The Electric Banjo does make this build though, without that I probably wouldn't have even made this video and I've seen a few other builds, some incredible builds, some OP builds with the electric banjo so I decided to avoid that route and bring you something a little more fun and that's what you get with these people. Now to get the electric banjo you need to farm the Psycho Billies on Amber Mia. It is a rare drop but it's definitely worth your time in farming. For the next two weeks we do get increased legendary so you may as well make the most of that with farming frenzy. It's definitely worth it people, it really is. But yes guys, this is the Raiden Zane build, truly is electrifying and it just absolutely murders on Mayhem 4, it really does. Now massive shout out to my pal MadRanger69 for hooking me up with plenty of the best legendaries in this game, so massive shout out to him. 
In the background now, you will see this build in action within this slaughter shaft, Mayhem 4, and just watch it truly tear those enemies apart. You also see footage of me switching up the weapons as well, so it's not always shock, just to see how effective this can be if you do want to mix things up. So enjoy that, guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Look at that.